Hello and welcome to the video where I'm going to show you the final projects for this course, advanced WordPress topics, custom post types, taxonomies, and metaboxes. And in this course, we're going to develop three different projects. And that's because I think that you will learn a new technique or a new technology. Well, it's easier to learn something doing practical examples. And we're going to build three different projects. So if I scroll a little bit, you can see that we have make this for in says dinner. So we recommend to the visitor of the site some recipes based on the time. And at the moment, it's really, well, it's on the night. We have this for dinner. So let's say that we are visiting the site in the morning. So I'm going to change this. Maybe 6 a.m. and I'm going to save and reload. And now you can see we have this make this for breakfast. And here we have these recipes for the breakfast. Let's make another change. Maybe 1 p.m. Save this and reload. And now you can see we have this make this for lunch. So I think this is a really cool example of something that you can make with taxonomies in WordPress. So I'm going to set this automatically and reload. And now you can see we have the dinner. And of course, you can click here and view the full recipe. You can see we have this image, we have the title and the rest of the recipe. We're going to take a look at this in just a little. And if I continue scrolling, this is the second example. Well, this is the first example. This one is the second. And here you have filter by course. And we have this menu at the top where we have appetizers, breads, desserts, finger foods, main dishes, salads, and snacks. And here you can see we have the recipes and you can click here and this will show you the, the, the different recipes that we have for the breads, the desserts, the finger foods, main dishes, salads and snacks. And one of the cool things is that this is fully responsive. I make this smaller and you can see here we have the, the menu and we have the recipes right here. And also you can click here and view the full recipe. We have the vegetarian pizza. We have this image, the name and the rest of the recipe. And this is the front end. Let's see the back end of this. I'm going to, well, here I am on the admin of WordPress and you can see we have these recipes and this is a custom post type. So you can hover here and you have add new recipe. And here you can add the title and the content. And here on the right, you have the price range. We have this price, we have this meal type. You can see we have breakfast, dinner, and lunch. The course, and we have this list and the mood right here. So you can add also an image. So we're going to develop everything from scratch. If I scroll a little bit more, you can see that we have the latest entries. And here we have an image and we have the recipe. So we're printing the current post type of this entry. We have these fields, we're printing the taxonomy terms, price range, meal, course, and mood. And one of the cool things that when, when you're working with taxonomies is that the filtering is almost built in. So for example, if I click here on the price range, open this, you can see that we have price range 5 to 10. And here we have a bunch of different recipes under this price and or in the in that term so maybe 15 to 20 so let's open this and you can see that we have another recipes let's say that you want to click here on breakfast and you can see we have meal type and here we have the breakfast so that's something really really cool that can be done with taxonomies and knowing custom post types and taxonomies you can start developing more advanced WordPress sites. So this is it. I'm going to click here on the strawberry roll cake here on read more. And you can see that we have this image. We have the title. We have these taxonomies and terms. But also you can see we have these calories and the rating for stars. Also this description. And here we are working with metaboxes. And metaboxes are really, really cool because they will extend the, the content of the post. So I'm going to click here on edit, edit recipe. 
And here you can see we have the, the title and the content. And this is the standard or something that you can find in all the WordPress installation. But if I scroll a little bit, you can see we have Gourmet Artistry meta boxes. And here we have the calories, the recipe, short description, and a rating. So you can add more content here, the full recipe right here. Add a price range, a meal type, a course, a mood, an image, and a title. And everything is going to be filtered by WordPress. That's something really, really cool, I have to say. So let's see the tier project here on our events. You can see that we have our events and we have the upcoming events. We have something like this. We have a conference, a meeting, and here on the past events, we have this seminar. If I click here on edit page, we are using here a shortcode and you will learn how to use the shortcode API. You can see we're calling a function here. And also we're passing a title that is printed right here. So this is going to be fully dynamic for the end user. But maybe you are asking where are the events? Well, we create these events, custom post type, and I can click here. You can see we have the seminar, the meeting, and the conference. One of the cool things is that we are comparing the current date with the date of the event. Once we pass the date of the event, it's going to be added in the past events. So you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to update the event when it finished. You can see here we have the seminar and I'm going to click here on events. I'm going to edit the seminar. And you can see that we have some content here. We have these meta boxes. And for example, you can see here on the event date, this one is for the 2015. So that's why it's, big, it's added here on the past events. And I'm going to show you something really cool. We're going to be using a plugin called Custom Metaboxes 2, which has a lot of different functionality for Metaboxes. But for example, you can add a city here. And here on the event day, you can click here. And you will have this calendar. That's something really cool. But also you have this choose time form. You can choose the time for the event. And you can add these seats availability. And you can see that we have this. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to update. Reload. You can see that we have this agenda of the event. And if I scroll a little bit, you can see we have this program. And you can see we have the, the fields. So you can add another row. And maybe at this time, you can add show how this works to my friends on Udemy. So you can click here on update and reload. And this one is a seminar, so you can see we have this. Show how this works to my friends on Udemy. And here on the right, also you can attach a taxonomy, a seminar, a conference, or a meeting. So that's something really, really cool that we're going to develop from scratch in this course. You will learn a lot, I have to say. Have a lot of confidence that this course will take you to a world new, new level. So hopefully this sounds interesting for you. And let's start working.